In this video, Osho talks about his views on sexual ethics. My views on sexual ethics are against all the views that have been held up to now. They were all repressive of sex. They were condemnatory and created a split in the human mind. The whole schizophrenia and all the perversions of man are rooted in those wrong sexual ethics. I conceive of sex as a natural phenomenon. There is nothing profane in it and there is nothing sacred in it. It is purely natural life energy of tremendous importance. If you cannot sublimate it, it can destroy you and it has destroyed humanity. It is the energy man is born out of. Everything is born out of it. Naturally, there is no higher energy than sexual energy. But biological reproduction is not its only function. The same energy can have different creative dimensions. The same energy joined with meditative practices can be sublimated to the highest peak of consciousness, what I call enlightenment. My sexual ethics is not a law, it is love. Two persons can be sexually related only if love allows. When there is no love and only law remains as a binding force, it is sheer prostitution and I am against prostitution. It is strange that all the religions are the cause of prostitution in the world, but nobody stands up and says that prostitution exists because you have replaced love with law. Law is not love. Marriage is valid only if there is love. The moment love disappears, the marriage is invalid. It means millions of people are living unlovingly, unethically, unnaturally because of the religions that have forced the arbitrary bondage of marriage, that have tried to make it permanent. Life is continuously changing. Nothing is permanent. Love also is not permanent. Only plastic flowers are permanent. Real flowers can't be permanent. If you are too addicted to permanence, then you will end up with plastic flowers. That's how people have ended up with plastic marriages and plastic relationships. Phony and hypocritical and it gives no pleasure to anybody. According to me, love should be the only law, the only deciding factor and the energy of sex should not remain confined to reproduction only. It is simple to see the fact that animals are not sexual all the year around. They just have their seasons. In those few months or few weeks, they are sexual. Otherwise, sex disappears. Why has man the capacity to be sexual all the year around? There must be a purpose behind it. Existence never does anything meaninglessly. My understanding is that reproduction could have been managed within a few weeks just as it is being managed in all the animals. But man has been given so much sexual energy. It is a clear indication that existence wants you to transform this energy into higher levels of consciousness and it can be transformed. Just as it can give birth to children, it can give birth to you. It can make you reborn with the new vision, new bliss, new light and a totally new being. All that is needed is that the sexual energy should be joined with meditation and that has been my whole work. This is my sexual ethics, sex energy plus meditation and it is the easiest thing to join them because while making love, the moment you come to an orgasmic explosion, your thoughts disappear, time stops, suddenly you have melted into the other, you are no longer an ego and these are the qualities of meditation, no ego, no time and no thinking, just pure awareness and a melting into the whole. Where sexual orgasm ends, meditation begins. They can be joined very easily. The easiest thing to do is to join them. They are so close. The whole of humanity lives in misery for the simple reason that they have the wrong kind of sexual ethics, a kind which teaches them to repress it. And the more you repress your sexuality, the farther you are away from meditation. The more you repress it, the closer you are to madness, not to meditation. My sexual ethics are a completion, repression has to be dropped and a deep acceptance, a deep friendliness towards your own energies, a loving intimacy with your own energies so those energies can reveal all their secrets to you and joining them with meditation, orgasm becomes the door to the temple of divine. To me, if sex is the creative force in the world, 
it must be nearest to the creative center of the world whatever name you give to it creative energy must be closest to the creation to the creative source of it all people should be taught the art of converting sexual energy into spiritual enlightenment thank you